hey, I'm Blake Tillery, and this is Senate in a Minute for week seven. This week in the Senate, we actually passed 19 more pieces of legislation. We'll send over to the House for consideration. This week's been extremely busy because next week is crossover week. It's crossover day on Wednesday. If a bill does not make it out of one chamber by Wednesday, it's essentially dead until next January. Let me tell you a little bit about some of the bills that did pass this session, this, this week. First, I want to talk to you about a Senate Bill 330. It implements ag education standards and curriculum for grades 6 through 12. It's a pilot program aimed at helping our students understand the importance of the agriculture industry in Georgia. That's something that's also very important down in our neck of the woods. Senate Bill 402 is something I've been talking about for two years, and I'm glad to see it finally come to fruition. It's a bill that would help us use the existing right-of-ways in our interstate to implement uh, broadband and fiber cables throughout the state of Georgia. We're gonna, we would lease the, the state lands in between in the right-of-ways of the interstate. Part of that money would be used to help extend broadband further. It would also be used as a trunk source so that we could then begin extending fiber into other more rural areas of our community. It's a bill that I, I support. It's a bill that I know many in our district support. And I really still feel it's the great equalizer for, for all of rural Georgia. A bill that has not yet made it to the Senate is coming has actually probably been the most discussed this week. And that's House Bill 918. It'll be, it's now in the Senate for consideration. It passed the Senate Finance Committee today. It'll be moving along. It doubles the standard deduction from $3,000 to $6,000 for the state income tax. And it also reduces the top income tax bracket for state income tax from 6% down to 5.75% in 2019 and then to 5.5% in 2020. This is a tax break that we feel we need to pass on to follow what's going on with President Trump's tax cut on the federal level. And it will make sure that we don't recoup any savings that we would have accidentally received because of the federal tax cut. Again, it's just good policy. I think I campaigned a long time ago on the premise that we don't spend our money, we spend the people's money. And if we can return that money to the people, they probably know how to spend it a little bit better than we do. Next Monday, we have 28 bills on the calendar. There'll be many things flying over the next few days. We'll also have probably about that many again on Wednesday on crossover day. Remember, if a bill does not get out of one chamber by crossover day, it's essentially dead until next January. So if there's anything you see on the agenda, if there's anything you see uh, from any of your interest groups, feel free to email me, text me, call me. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and concerns. I was glad to see a couple of groups come up and visit this week again. Always glad to have folks visit from the 19th District. And if you're going to be in the area, please let me know as well. Our office number is still 404-656. 0089, or my email is blake.tillery at senate.ga.gov. Thank you again for allowing me to serve the 19th District in the Georgia Senate, and this is week seven for Senate in a Minute.